I like the black, to be honest. Yeah. Because you can wear so much more with them, I feel like. Really? I named my daughter Alexa. Stop it. I'm not joking. Yeah, it's a phone. Oh my god. <laughs> Which one do you like better? I like this one better. Yeah, it's green. This is the one I've had saved in my phone forever. And finally, I'm just gonna get it before they sell out. Just gonna decide which one I want. I think it's the perfect size for work and for everything. It's like this weird middle size, right? I love them both, actually. Yeah, I love the black. Oh, how close is that? How are you just gonna be your mom? Oh, I thought you were with her. Oh, sorry, we came up together. <laughs> she was out of with you. I don't know which one to get. It looks like the hat. This one's like a green. I was debating between this one and the Fendi ones. I thought you were the Fendi one. Yeah, I was in the fur. With the fur on the front. Those are sick, but they're like not the summer at all because they're fur, right? Yeah. I have the I have the slip on sandals too. So. I love their slip on sandals. I think they're the best. I mean, the thing is with those, like I wanted the ones with the CCs everywhere. Have you seen them? They're sold out everywhere. You can't even get them. Yeah, I did too. But so I, then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get those. I know those will be the next ones to sell out, and then those will be the last ones. Uh, depends if you wear that stuff all the time, like you have to get it before it sells out. Okay, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this video, whether it's gonna be in the beginning of the video or like after I'm shopping, um, I'm not sure, but hi. Okay, so I'm sitting here, I'm eating these um, steamed snap peas and they're kind of my lunch. I had one of those like low-cal like mocha things I got from Starbucks. If you know, you know. If you don't, probably because you're blocked. Um, so I'm eating a little bit really light lunch today also because I'm saving my calories for dinner tonight. These are just, um, don't worry. Um, these are just steamed snap peas with salt and a little bit of that um, zero calorie spray butter. I don't want to hear it from anyone out there about nutrition. Shut, shut your fucking mouth. Like I don't don't even get like I feel like I always have to defend myself when I say something. Like I can't do anything without someone like turning. Look, like, just stop. Okay. So um, anyway, before I get started and show you guys everything. I want to like, I have to talk about Bao because it's like the big elephant in the room and you guys were so supportive and that's not the way, that's not like why, I feel like, I don't know, social media is annoying, right? Like if something happens in someone's life and like we have to post it, I look skinnier like this. I feel like I'm skinnier if you like see the top of my life. It's like so skinny right now in this. Okay. Um, so I didn't want to talk about it because I can't even believe it, but Bao, okay, so basically I had to put him, put him down on Monday because he was just getting worse and worse and on the Monday he couldn't even stand up anymore and he was on his side and he'd have, I think he was having strokes because the end, like both of his feet were not working, his legs, I don't wanna talk about it, it was really bad, like he was suffering. So it was horrible, I sat, we sat there with him and the whole, did the whole thing where, you know what I mean, you see him like pass and it was really, really hard, really fucking hard. Bao has, I, I don't wanna make this a huge Bao thing, but I feel like a lot of people out there have been following me for a very long time and Bao has always been with me. It's really fucking weird. Like. Yesterday I went to the supermarket, every time, I, like me going, I had to go to the supermarket twice a week to get like vegetables for these rabbits, you know what I mean? Like I, I wake up in the morning, I have like no purpose anymore. Like yeah, I have Ming, but 
she like eats what I eat kind of like you know what I mean like we're like she's like my friend like I don't take care of her like she we just do our own thing like we, we hang out together it's weird like she's not like doesn't be cared for she just like is a part of me so it's not I don't know whatever it's a whole different thing but um I like I'm just gonna say it one more time because I think I already said in the last one, but I really wanna say it because it's probably never gonna get spoken of again and I don't want it to go unmentioned, is that Bao, like, I wanna thank, like, thank you so much. Even, okay, I'm gonna say a lot of things that you guys okay. I don't think that rabbits are easy pets at all. They are actually really, really, really fucking difficult pets because they don't give you anything in return, like a lot in return. They are a lot to take care of. You have to always have fresh vegetables for them. Like, you have to give them a lot of space to run. You cannot have them in a fucking cage. Anyone who keeps a rabbit in a cage, like, I don't agree with it. It's horrible. How the fuck would you like it? Like, be in a fucking cage, rabbits? It's, 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 I don't like it. That's why I created that entire unit in the backyard for them to be indoor, outdoors, whenever they wanted to be. It just, like, I, I'm a very, 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 very selfless person when it comes to my animals. It could, because they didn't ask for me to, like, adopt them or whatever, take them. Like, I chose that, so I better fucking go along with the program, you know what I mean? Okay, anyway, I'm like getting on a weird tangent. I just, it's like, I can't like form what I feel in my head, but um, Bao gave, even though he didn't, he's like, it was, sorry, I was, I was gonna start over, but I'm not going to, you guys are not saying, I don't edit things, okay? I, I felt like I was going off on a weird track, and I am, but I'm just gonna keep going with it. So, I, I don't know why it's so hard for me um to just meant to talk about this but it is because it's weird and i'm not saying that bao like shaped anything about me or anything or but i for some reason put a lot of like weight as to why hrh became successful on that fucking little rabbit like on bao and it's weird and i do like i don't know why but i feel like back when i started this 10 years ago i guess ish and I, you know, this, like, Instagram, there was no Instagram, like, this wasn't, like, YouTube wasn't, like, I, like it was today, and I think that I set myself apart, I, and it wasn't like I was planning anything, you guys just were interested in me, and I think Bao was one of the reasons you guys were interested in me, because who the hell has a little white rabbit in their apartment, you know what I mean, like, as a single girl, like, having has her day job, like, has this little jewelry line at night, like, whatever, like, you know, it's, so, yeah, a lot of, like the success, my success, not like I'm so successful or anything, like whatever, I'm, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm not like a huge, you know, like multi-million dollar company, so whatever, you know, I don't wanna, I wanna like preface that, but um, it became, it came from Bao, I feel like a lot of it is, like I, I don't know, the quirkiness of it, and he just was with me for so long, through so much, and I, I really, really get like, always, took care of him the very best I could over and beyond like I treated him like I would a child more than a like than a pet and that's just how I was brought up with animals to be treat them like that and I really hope that he knows that because he was a very guarded animal and very you know grumpy we always knew that and like growled and was like not very friendly He's always the way he was since when I adopted him from that shelter I adopted him from the Bunny Bunch. If anyone ever wants to get a rabbit, I said, and you're in LA, California or LA, I would suggest going to the Bunny Bunch because they do really great things. I do still donate to them. I've donated, donated to them automatically every month since I, I adopted Ballard. I'm not gonna stop my monthly donations to them. I'm just gonna keep that going, just, you know. And anyway, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that he, I just can't believe that that bow is gone. Like, I mean, it's like we, this is something that we've known too. Like, it's like, wow, right? Like, I can't believe it. And it's horrible. It's horrible. But at the same time, yeah, it's horrible, but he didn't die prematurely. So I have comfort in knowing that he lived such a long and full life and that I don't, like, if I was anyone out there who was, who mistreats their animals or kept, keeps them in cages or doesn't give them greens every day or doesn't change their hay like twice, you know, two or three times a week, like, to always has them clean, takes them to the vet, then I would feel so guilty right now. I would probably be in tears. But I think that's why I'm not so upset, like dying, because I was dying obviously like when it was happening on the day we decided that we had to put him down. But like, I know that he lived a really, really great life and I did everything and more that I could ever do for that 
for those rabbits. So I really, really want to stress this because I don't know if I'll ever do rabbit talks again because I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more rabbits. There are a lot of work. So there's so much work and there are a lot of mess and there are a lot of money and there are a lot of time, and especially the way I do it. You know what I mean? I don't just buy a rabbit and keep it in the corner. Like I, I don't, anyone out there, if you have a rabbit, a guinea pig, a hamster, a chinchilla, if you are neglecting that little animal, please don't do that. Like, please, for the fucking love of God, please don't do that. Just don't go turn it into a shelter or something, or just change your change yourself about that, please. Because, I mean, they're a soul. Like, you know, like it really makes me. I, I I think about that often because it's so easy to just neglect a small animal that doesn't make noise. You know what I mean? And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there, and a lot of but some out people out there are neglecting those those pets. So. I really want you guys to check yourself with that because yeah, I did for 10 years have to have a, you know, a very needy to animals who needed me. Well, I created that need and have to, whatever. I went above and beyond for them. And I hope you guys do the same. Like, please just do the same because they deserve it. Like they don't have a voice, like they can't take care of themselves and you have taken this on yourself. So you owe it to them. Okay. Anyway, that's my animal speech because um, I just want to get that out of the way. We love Bao so much and he is not with us anymore, but he was probably around 13 years old, they think, because my vet said that um, at, rabbits don't get cataracts, cataracts, glaucoma, cataracts, whatever, until they're 12 or 13. So he placed him around 12 or 13 and it kind of lines up with, I think I had him for like 10 or 11, maybe 10 or 11 years. And then I'm not sure, the, the shelter doesn't know how old he was. It could have been a year or two years. So. They really didn't know. He could have been three. We don't know, but I don't think he was three. All right, so that's it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's horrible. And I want to thank you guys also so much for your like outpour of love. And it's like, you know, I don't want to, it's not for me. It was for Bao. And that was so nice of you guys to like sit there and write comments and like the pictures of him. And it's just, I was, I would have been very numb for the past two days. I feel like today is Wednesday. It happened on like Sunday and Monday. I'm able to like breathe a little bit again, but, um, as a tribute to Bao, if anyone out there is like not taking care of your pets as best as well as you should, I hope you do, okay? Because I, it's the one thing I do and it's so important. It's so fucking important to do that, okay? That's it, all right. That's enough of the Bao talk. Now, okay, uh, um, on to happier things than talking about poor Bao. Is this too much? Okay, so this thing, I found this in my purse just now and I put it on, but I was wearing it like that earlier and I was like, I don't think I like it. I think it's too much. I think that I either have to choose this or this with my um, Super D4. I think it's like a little bit too much if I have all of those, but now it's better. Like, yeah, I think that's way more sick. But I love this with the spun gold, but I don't want to, I never take these off. So it would have, I would have to take off this, I think, my 20 inch to put this on. I don't know. I think it's like too much, probably because I'm wearing the earrings too. I think I like the better with it. Okay, so I want to talk about some shit now. I want to talk about, like, okay, I'm like sweating right here. Do you guys, when I'm smoking Indian style, it's gross. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna tell you. Why did, why did I tell you that? Like, I really don't know why I tell you that, but apparently I have to fucking tell you that. Okay, so I wanna talk about some things. Everyone's gonna get offended as fuck in this video. And of course, I'm gonna like, shut up. So I wanna show you this, um, and I hope I get all my points across because I wanna see, can you can we tell the date that I saved these photos at? And I wanna show you, I'm, I'm actually kind of pissed. Okay, so, if you, oh yeah, I did, right here, July. July 27th, I saved these photos of the Chanel stuff and it made its own like Chanel. Um, like these are like my pictures and like it says recents, like opals. I don't know, I think I did that. And then favorites and Chanel and Sterling. I didn't make its own photo book or like what's it called? Photo book? I don't know. Album? Um, but yeah, I don't know why it did it itself. Okay, so I've had these pictures, this one. I've had, I've my fucking light. Okay. I've had these pictures in my, that, in my phone for a long time, since July. And I was waiting for this to launch, but to be honest, sh like I just, okay, I'm not even like hating on anything. I just become a little bit less like obsessed with Chanel, like just in general, because I'm just tired of it. Like I'm tired. I love the classic, the classic flaps. Like that's the only style I like, but it's like how many classic flaps can we get? And anything else they come out with is fugly, okay? I'm sorry, it is like fugly, okay? And I don't, this is the thing, I'm gonna preface this right now to you guys. I don't care, like don't, don't, don't get offended, cause I, I, I would probably get offended too. But I want, like, I wanna just clear the air with everyone right now. 
if, you, if I'm going to talk about your bag, if you have this bag right now, please don't get offended because you might hate the bag I got too. And I swear to God, I don't care. I'm wearing it. You can wear your bag. If you want to do a video about what bags you like and which bags you hate, I'm not going to be offended if you like say that you hate my bag. So just stop it, okay? But I'm going to go in on a bag right now. I'm going to go in on a fucking bag because I'm, I am I hate it. And I'm, I'm not, okay, the thing. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that like Chanel stole my idea. But I'm also like not gonna say that like Bottega stole my idea too about the chain that every single one of you guys send me every fucking day and like I'm, I'm not annoyed by it. I'm saying like thank you like I know like you know I, I feel like the Studio 54 thing remember like the mic oh, no, a lot of things happen I'm like hmm like come on okay sure so let me just show you this I've had this so anyway I have not been to Chanel in a while because I don't like anything they're producing, like, except for this collection I loved, but it's just the whole thing with the top handle turned me off a little bit. Like, and I know Alex, get a grip. Like you didn't, you didn't come up with that. You know, now that I've come back down to earth a little bit, I, I don't care, bitch. Okay. I'm not taking credit for it, but like, I mean, there's a chance, like there's a fucking chance. Yes. Okay. Because, oh, all of a sudden you're putting top handles on your ugly fucking bags that like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like they need top handles. They are not usable. Okay. The lengths that you make are terrible. Like they are old, the old as fuck vibe. Like you need a top handle on these fucking bags. Anyway, so I, I don't want to talk about it because it hasn't, it's not like the K it's not like the facts. Like I don't, I, I don't, it's like, I, I like to say facts and it's like not a fact. So who knows? But I'm gonna talk about this this one bag. It's just, and everyone's buying this bag. And it is so fucking ugly. And a lot of people have it, and a lot of you guys are gonna get mad at me. But like I don't get it. It looks like a giant fucking sanitary pad. It is so fucking ugly. Choose okay, for fucking love. Oh my god, my box just fell off. Oh my god, my box just fell off my hand. Oh my god. It must have like hit the bottom of it. Oh my god. I was like, what if I did that out? And I was like, at a bar and I like lost my Rolex. Oh my God. I'm blinking. Okay. Um, I'm blinking. Stop. Okay. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yeah. You know, when they tell you when you leave, like I just did that, take one thing off, right? Like I just felt I had too much shit. So just like take one thing off. You know what I mean? I'm blinking cause I'm getting, I'm really, really blinky right now because I'm very frustrated. All right. Sorry. I don't like really out of control. I feel like I need a diet Coke. Hold on. I need something to drink. And I can't have another coffee. Like I've had, not done yet, Ming. Okay, I had a cracker too. Um, so I'm really fine. Okay. You know they tell you like, take one thing off before you leave the house, right? Just take one thing off. So this bag that Chanel made, I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, here it is. This is actually a pretty color of it. So I kind of wanted to get like the ugly color of it. But I'm just gonna show it to you because it's the only one I can find and I'm over it. Okay. I mean, we go like, oh my goodness, your hair looks so bad. I don't like my hair does that. It like, looks like a fucking poodle. I mean, can you go lay down for a little while? I'm almost done. I don't wanna hold you right now. Do you wanna sit up here? Okay, I'll put you here. Lay down. Okay, sit down. Okay. Um, okay, this bag, actually, yeah, it's okay. Here's the bag. It's this bag I'm talking about. I I am I'm a little apprehensive to go here because I know a lot of you guys out here ha out there have this bag, and I know a lot of you guys can get pissed about me having an opinion. But stop! It's about a fucking bag. I'm not making fun of your firstborn, okay? Anyway, <sighs> I have so many things to say about this shit. This, okay, I'm just gonna bring it up here. It's gonna fuck up my lighting. I'm just gonna show it to you guys here. Hold on, where is it? Where, where am I filming? Where is this filming from? Stupid, stupid fucking camera. Of course, it doesn't look that bad in this light, but let me show you the problem. First of all, it looks like a fucking sanitary pad, like a giant fucking pad. I don't know what happened, okay. Here, here, here. Oh, I just clicked onto more. Oh, it's just the ugliest I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. It's so ugly. Not to mention, Okay, you always say take one thing off. Okay, we've got a massive, puffy, quilted bag. Then we've got a gray, 
a, a silver or whatever, like looked like a gunmetal chain with leather rope going through it. Then we've got um, it's ombre up the side with gold chain with no leather running through. Change the style again, okay? Then we continue it down and whoop, there's like a big like sag right in the middle. Fucking ugly. The worst construction. I, I, it just like looks like shit. Like a big saggy fucking bloody pad. I swear to God, that's what I look at when I see it when I look like that. That's what I see when I look at these. Then, don't worry, just to add the cherry on the top, just because they couldn't just leave it alone. There's like not enough shit going on. Then they put a huge CC logo with, on the front with more leather running through it. This is like a freak show. It is like the tackiest bag. Oh, don't worry. Then there's like a leather where you put like the strap because like anyone's going to wear it like that unless you're a fucking photographer. Like who the fuck would wear it like that, okay? Um, a leather like on the top so it like protects your shoulder. Like add one more thing, you guys. Let's like, let's like put like, I want to petition one more thing to add to this bag. Okay, let's write Chanel across the top. Let's put pearls on it. Let's put some rhinestones. Let's make like a rainbow. Like I don't even know what, but like Come on, it is so tacky. I have not liked one of their bags, I swear to God, I have not liked any, like, one of their bags since the classic. I, yeah, I have like a couple of different bags from Chanel that are cool, but like nothing recently, like nothing. This is, it's, a, it's so ugly. You cannot put a huge, giant, heavy ass chain on leather like that so it starts to crinkle and crease and sag like a fucking diaper. It's ugly, like I just, hate this bag so much. I have like such a vendetta against this bag because bitch, you don't put a topping on, a topping on the lawn that it's like, it's just so ugly. Like it just looks like shit. I mean, can you just take one thing off of this bag to make it a little bit, a little bit better, please, for the love of God. I know that you guys have it up there and everyone's gonna hate me. I love my bag, I love my bag. Okay, great. Okay, great. I, I'm sure you do. I, I hope you love your bag because you bought for a fucking, I don't know, probably five. How much is that thing? And that bag is probably $6,000. Like, I'm not joking. Okay, anyway. So that's, so the reason why I haven't been into the in, in Chanel in a long time is because I just don't like any of their bags. I bought the pink classic when I was in, um, in France, um, but they're like Rue Cambon store. And I love that bag so much. It's so cute. And then I was waiting for this 2020 collection to come out because of that bag, this bag. Okay. So it's been saved. And then I don't know. I just been like turned off by them. Like, I just don't like them. Like their bags are so ugly. Like everyone, every time I see someone wearing a Chanel bag, I'm just like vomit. And looks like a cute, um, classic bag but then like the top handle the fact that they don't have top handles it's like they're not allowed to put top handles on their bag because they don't know how to do it anyway they make them look like fucking sanitary napkins like it's just horrible so i've had these all collected in my when i first saw these bags oh my god so fucking cute like i need these so this is the one i told myself if i'm gonna get one from the collection i'm gonna get this bag so i was in chanel last week um, I got, I got a gift or whatever, shoes as a gift. And, um, I was there and I was just like, ask the girl, I was like, do you have this bag? And she had it in the blue and she's like, I can get it in the green. So the green, came, so I, I ordered it, I ordered it. Let me show it to you guys. So let's unwrap it together. I went to pick it up and I was trying to debate between the, um, the blue and the green. And I'm going to tell you guys how much I love this bag and what's so amazing about it. Besides the fact that it's like, I, you guys know I like like colorful bags. I, I like all kinds of whatever. I love like a very like unique looking colorful bag. I love the like, classic bags. I thought I have a cracker in my tooth. Hold on. Gross. Okay. But the problem is, um, like a, I have been looking for a work bag since I've been working for a proper work bag since my orange peekaboo. Do you remember my orange medium size peekaboo Fendi? I love that size bag. That is like the greatest size. It's so universal. It's not like, I know I have a huge blue Fendi peekaboo. It's just way too big. Like then I have, um, let me show you. I'm gonna show you guys to compare. But this is like the most perfect size bag. The way it opens, the way it works. I'm just like, I'm dead over it. Like keep to your original designs and don't do anything else. Don't deviate from any from like the original designs because you guys fucking blow, okay? Like it's horrible, it's like, it looks so bad. Like I honestly, I don't, it's like the tackiest shit ever. Like, you know when you like go to China and they have like all those fake bags places and they like do like a version of like a, a Chanel bag and it's just so wrong. I feel like that's what Chanel's turning into like fake market, I swear, okay? It looks like shit, I swear, I don't care. Okay, so also the price on this bag was really good. I was expecting it because of the size to be, four-ish and it wasn't especially because Chanel, Chanel has like gone up a lot 
I was like, oh my god, like this is a really good price. I was like, yeah, just sign me up. So that, so here it is, um, and it's thirty four hundred, I think, which I think is not bad for how massive it is. Okay, so let me show it to you guys on, but I want to show you guys how it works. It's very simple. You know I love the Chanel, like, um, the soft bags. I have a couple of their silky or their satiny bag, satiny style classics. This one is just something that you'll be able to wear all the time. Like, it's just so easy. It's just non-fuss. There's nothing about it. Like, you couldn't take one thing off of this bag. Like, they already did. They did the work for you. It's a cute little Chanel sign right in the front. You've got, like, the leather woven strap. And that's it. There's no, like, extra weird fucking additions where you look like a goddamn tacky clown. The fucking, like, uh, it's like, bitch, are you on your period? You need that big of a fucking pad to carry around in public? Jesus fucking Christ. Like, my God, stop. Oh, I also got this. Oh, God, that's cute. But let me bring the other bag I was going to show you guys. I want to show you. Hold on. I was going to bring the other bag I wanted to compare it to. Let me show you. So remember I got this one in duty free on the way back um, from Europe like two years ago, I think. So this is like the really big one. And then here's like this new, it's like a medium size. And the other, like my minis that I have, this is kind of the size of my, I'm using it, hold on. I can't reach it. Sorry. This is kind of the size of the jumbo-ish, but it's like more collapsy, you know what I mean? So it's just not so aggressive. Um, I haven't tried my top handle on it, but there is a boy out there who has this bag and he put the white top handle on and it works. So when I knew that, I was like, oh my God, okay, perfect. It's gonna be a bit amazing. Um, and let me show you what else I got. I got this too. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna switch over my bags with you guys right now and we're gonna like, and then I'll like show, I'll back up and show you everything. But I got this too and I couldn't resist. Um, what am I gonna do for like the cover? Oh, I look like snooky. It's like snooky hair. Oh my god. Oh, should we do this cover? Help me. No, not. Help me. Help me. What do I do? Okay. Hold on. Oh, is this cute? Oh my god, it's so ugly. I hate myself. Hold on. Can you see the bag? Um, got the shot. All right, next. So let me show you the cutest thing in the world. All right, so a lot of, I have like four people, I feel like, asking me to, asking to buy this for me. So yeah, it's for sale now. If you want it, anyone who wants this can email me. No, a lot of you guys email me asking for that. So if you want that, you can, because now I'm switching it out. Okay, so. God, it's the cutest thing. Cutest thing in the world. I love this color. It's so cute. Isn't that cute? To be honest, I hate it kind of. It's kind of one of those things I don't like. It's kind of something wrong with it. This channel, it's a little bit too big. Plus, I don't really love these. Like, whatever. <sighs> this one is like $600. It's like not worth it. But it's not impulse bias because I think it's like so cute. It's like so happy, like very grapey. You know what I mean? It's like so cute. Okay. So let me put my, um, what am I going to do? Let me put my shit in here. I have my cash. How's it going to work? Oh, this was good because there was no, there's nowhere for, um, Coins. I don't care. This is gonna my bag. I don't. I don't like not good at doing like change purses and shit. Cause it's just I'm not. I'm not one of those bitches who like holds up a line. Like I can't do it. Like I, I just can't do it. Hold on. How did this work? Ah, oh, that was from um. <sighs> they all. Okay. Oh, there's my credit card. This is, is this cute? Do we like this? Is this cute? If you like, if you like, saw me out and like pull this out, it'd be cute. Is that like a cute combo? I thought it was a kind of cute combo, like that. Like, is it cute? It's cute. Okay, good. Um, that and then, um, what else do I have in here? I have my headphones. I'm gonna like do my bag right now. I have my mignon chain and then my bankroll that I took off, but I'm gonna put this in the side pocket. There's a side pocket here. Okay, and then I have these glasses. These are my Porsche sunglasses that actually Alex gave me these glasses 
We already talked about that. She's fucking psycho. And she's like, just, just take them. Just take them. I was like, oh my God. I cannot believe you're making me do that. Okay. Um, my key for my car. And I want to show you my makeup. I have like, I actually carry around makeup now. Oh, okay. And my gum. I love this gum. You guys know. Oh, by the way, I am running out of gum. So anyone who knows what I'm talking about who lives in like the UK or, Fran or France or um, what's it called? Oh, Ireland. Because I have no brain cells. Um, if you want to do me a favor and send me more gum, I would love you because I'm really running out and I'm going to have to find someone on Amazon who sells it, but it doesn't come right. It doesn't taste the same. It doesn't come directly from there. It's like, I don't know. Okay. Um, then these, I know the reason she's using, I can just see it now. Like, I can't even, I can't even fucking have a cigarette once a month without someone being like, that's the reason she's losing her weight. Like I, I it's just it's so, it's so stupid to me. I mean, I can't even have one fucking cigarette. Like it's really fucking weird. Okay. Um, then this is not going in there anymore. I have these sunglasses too. I just think she, she was like rolling around. Um, LV. I have these, but these don't get rolled around in bags because we don't want those to get ruined. I want to try and put on the top handle, okay? So, let me see. Which color? So, I had this one, the white, on my Chanel Jumbo. The white is so cute, but I also have the frost. I think I'm gonna put the frost on, but I really want, I think I want this one on the pink. I would want the pink on, but I don't have the proper size here right now. I have this for my um, smaller bag. So let me put on officially dead. Because I cannot wear one of these bags without a top handle. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. So cute. And this is when it's okay for a bag to sag, when it's cloth, not fucking leather. We know we talked about this in my Fendi um, baguette rant, a thing too, and I said I didn't like that it was sagging in the middle because it was leather. Okay, dead, dead. So now we know that, so just so you guys know, if you have this bag or something, you can always email me um, about which bag chain to get for your specific bag. Just send me a picture of your bag. Um, also send me a picture of like the insides where it goes to the pet picture there and then a picture of like the top um this is the jumbo one to you so you're gonna need the jumbo size um comes with different hardware and a longer top but how fucking cute i'm dead okay so i'm gonna back up and show you guys oh no i want you guys my makeup i'm so in love with this bag it's so fucking cute it's so fucking cute okay so you guys know i've had like a different makeup look recently um and let me kind of show you guys the stuff i've been using i've been carrying around my gloss I'm gonna call it Glossier. Glossier. I love this comb. It's not from Glossier. It's from Urban. Oh, sorry, it's not from Urban. I'm like, I'm, wow. It's from Ulta. Okay, it's from Ulta. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay. Then um, I have this from Joyer, which I love. I'll put. I'll try to link everything below. This is the um, bronzer, the dual bronzer. It's a really beautiful finish, and also I have the um, brush for it. And I love this brand and I love the owner of it too. She's a very sweet lady. Um, okay, that. Then I have this, which I love. This is the Bare Minerals. I'm gonna put everything that I keep in my thing lately and to go, like what I wear like every day, what I wear right now too, um, below so you guys can get them. Okay, this is the Bare Minerals, and I'll put the link below. Like I said, I just ruined that. So I don't want to get a stain. Okay, then also this one by Joyer. Uh, Joyer, this is, they have the best, best lip liners ever, hands down, from anyone I've tried. And I've been on a, a lip liner terror. Um, from Joyer, just so you guys know, it's Sienna and Fawn that I love. For me, the nude is a little bit too orangey. Sienna and Fawn are the best, but I have tried Bare Minerals, um, Joye, Mac. Who else was I doing, you guys? You guys know. I had like four or five different companies that I was going back and forth from. I did NYX for a while. Um, oh, NARS I had. And the best ones, hands down, at everyone so far is Joye, definitely, in Sienna and Fawn. So if you're looking for to do the lips that I do, then definitely get those. Okay, then I have this by um, the Gimme Brow by Benefit in the 4.5, which I love, and I just keep it with me so that I can um, 
So I just always ruin my face. I just ruin my entire face. Do that during the day and also ruin my fucking face. God, it's destroyed my whole face. Okay, that, don't worry. Fucking chainsaw going up in the backyard. Um, and then I have this Anastasia just so I can, sometimes I, if I like hit my face, then um, my wings disappear. I wanna keep them elongated and straight at the ends. Okay, that. Um, then I have this by um, the Serge Lutens and it's just the, it's like the face perfecting balm. And you're supposed to put it on like before all of your makeup, it's just a balm. But I also like to do this during the day. It just gives me a little bit of matte and it's like the pore filler. I don't know, I just, I bought it because it's one of those things you guys know when you go to, you go to like a makeup place and you try something on there and like it like seems like it's the best thing in the world and you get home and it's like what the fuck was I thinking like I hate that I don't know why so that's kind of one of those like I'm not obsessed with it I mean I like it okay then I have this little Stila eyeliner which I've got from Sephora for free which I love and then I have this from Serge Lutens as well and and it's the color I'll put it below it looks like this and it's just a really good color to wear with a lip liner if you want that like 90s vibe. I really, really love that combo. I've talked about it before. Okay, then I got this. I got this from Glossier recently. It's bubble wrap eye and lip pumping cream. And I don't know why I'm carrying around. I know it's just like eye cream, and but sometimes I just put a little bit right here. I don't know why. It's kind of gross, I guess. I'm not sure. Oh, I have these, my Lulu. Um, I like to carry around matches because if I am gonna smoke a cigarette like once a fucking month, um, I just feel like bougie, like um, matches from abroad is like the best. Okay, then I have this. It's um, from, it's Fresh Cream Worn Cashmere. You guys know this by Philosophy. I love that. And I also have the sample of the Rouge, whatever from Baccarat, the Rouge 540, the really expensive one version of that. Okay, then I recently got this. It was an impulse buy. Um, I was looking like, okay, do you guys ever, do you, are you guys like me where you like go to the mall and, um, I'm gonna put this hair, it's like so cute. Um, you go to the mall and you like look really good that day, right? Like, I don't know what it is. Like they have the best lighting sometimes in like cosmetic areas, like strategically, right? And I don't know what it is. Like I look really pretty sometimes, like never when I wanna look pretty, but like sometimes, oh, when I like, when I'm at like the mall or like at a department store, I feel like I look really good sometimes. And I feel like I could have like put anything on my face that wouldn't look good at that point. But anyway, I bought this stupid Golden Light by it's Chanel. And I just like I'm trying not to actually be so glowy anymore. Get yeah, anything glowy because I'm already my skin is already very glowy by itself. But I don't know why I'm into it. I just am. Like, it just makes me feel, like, skinny and, like, pretty. Because I, when I put it, see, it's kind of, like, pretty, right? When I put this on at the department store, I was, like, I can't believe I, like, I, you guys know, I'm going through a transition right now. Like, I'm feeling very on lately. And I was just feeling very on that day. And it just reminded me of that, okay? Shut, up, shut the fuck up. So I'm putting this in here. Okay, I'm putting this in here. And then I have this, too. Um, this is the Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Face spray which I love um I keep it at work actually on my desk just because if I'm like <sighs> annoyed or frustrated or hot whatever it feels really good and refreshing okay so now I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show you guys my look I'm also wearing my new shoes from um Gucci which I fucking love the fuck out of them this is from a store okay it was like ten dollars from the store and then um this is my spun gold and my puff, puff crush hoops uh studio 54 and my Giyumi little um I'm wearing little bracelets, Giyumi, Giyumi bracelets. Oh my God, this is my new, I wanna show you guys, I'm so fucking happy with it. I love it. I am obsessed. Okay, so I got the, I, you guys, this is my dream, not my dream, uh, 14K dream gemstone rings. Okay, 14K dream gemstone rings. And I wanna show you guys this purple gemstone that I recently, okay, I'm blinking, stop. That I recently did for myself. I am, Oh, it's not focusing, is it? In love with it. Let me put it in here. My nails are blue. I got them done today. Um, I think they're really pretty. I'm kind of like loving the short nails, actually. It's kind of like I'm just done with the long nails for right now. 
I I don't know. I'm going through a phase. I guess I guess I kind of like them, though I hated them last week. I remember I told you guys you weren't, you weren't allowed to compliment them. Like we're not because I love long nails, but for some reason I just feel like a little bit more effortless without the long nails. Even though I'm such a long nail person, I don't know why I love my short nails right now. It's not so like it's not such an event like having to go get my nails done when you have long nails because you have to go to someone who you like trust and like is an event like it, it takes up an entire like afternoon and like today I was like oh, I'm seeing like color change like I was sick of my black my black nails and I was like I'm seeing a color change so I did that and it wasn't a big deal like I it's just fun like easier I'm done right now I'm done, done with it I'm not gonna go to the mat right now let me show you guys this okay so this is my new gemstone dream ring and I can obviously make one for you as well it's the most gorgeous look at that and the whole setting and the band is like specially created just for your gemstone and if you want me to like pick one out for you I will do that if you have like a specific whatever I'll help you find it but I am dead over this fucking stone it is the most beautiful pinky purple like it's a really my I don't know I'm like I have like fat fingers I guess but it's a really big like jumbo size heart I love it I also did a garnet for myself too and like the most beautiful deep red one anyway this is my heart me ring it's gold and it has my initial on it and then I'm doing my new 14k chain rings and these are really cute and they're really like um well priced they're all handmade here in LA obviously this is a little mini h chain it's so cute so I have the mini h chain and then I have this one is the micro h chain and they're fun to just stack everywhere and they're really sparkly they catch the light pretty and I love you guys love H chains I love the H chain they're really cool okay let me back up and show you the um show you my look I'm dead, dead over my I'm like really dead over my outfit today um oh you guys would have seen it you guys saw my outfit you already saw it what am I doing whatever I'll just turn up anyway oh I'm so fat okay okay so here is the bag I love it so easy to pick up and go if you're in the car like you guys have Chanel bags and you are like, you know what I mean by the long strap, you're in the car, you like can't get it, it's like dragging across the front seat, so fucking annoying. Okay, you, you already saw the video with my shoes, you don't have to see them now, but I love this album, I think it's really cute. Okay guys, that's it. Do we love this? Whatever, yes we do, okay, bye!